BECU is committed to helping you become financially fit. Meet Todd Peach, KISW's financial advisor. Interest rates are rising. If you have variable interest rate loans, such as an adjustable rate mortgage or a home equity line of credit, now might be a good time to lock into a good rate. If you have credit card debt, come up with a plan to get it paid off as soon as possible. Or see if you can get a better rate at another lender to speed up the repayment process. To get more financial advice from Todd, visit KISW.com slash BECU. Farmers Policy Perks are that little extra something you can get when you're a farmer's customer. So to tell you about them, we're adding a little extra something to this ad. A backup singer. Ooh, singer. When you have the Farmers Signal app with Crash Assist. Crash Assist. If you have an auto accident. We can send help if you want it. Wow, that sounds like a whole lot of something. Get a quote at Farmers.com. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Not available in every state. Only available select farmers branded policies subject to terms and conditions underwritten by Farmers Trucker Fire Insurance Exchanges or Affiliate. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your wages are being garnished. We can stop that now. It's hard enough to pay your bills when things are good, let alone when a big chunk of your take-home pay is gone before you even get your check. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné, and I can stop the garnishment and get the creditors off your back immediately, often the same day as our consultation. Both Chapter 7 and 13 provide bankruptcy relief, but choosing the right chapter is crucial. In a free consultation, we can create a plan to get your finances back under your control. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, the Rock of Seattle. It is time for our Loud and Local Band of the Week, and this week, it's always naked. My mind is to my legs. Well, my legs tremble and shake. It's a loud and local band of the week, always naked. You want more info? Just go to the BJ and Migs page of KISW.com. Yeah, brand new record titled Soundcheck, so always naked soundcheck, baby. Yeah. <laughs> they say they actually perform mostly clothed, though. All right, there you go. That's fair. Uh, yeah, and don't forget, man, uh, Sunday nights, 8 o'clock, we've got two solid hours of great local rock music. We're talking loud and local. Starts at 8 o'clock every Sunday night. Bands from the Pacific Northwest, you're going to be hearing them like always naked. Friday, everyone, and maybe by Sunday you can go outside. Go out. and uh, or just watch the game on Sunday night. Yeah, I'm hoping. Oh yeah, look at my Hello. Don't know how that happened. I'm hoping that the air quality is uh, better so that Russell can go out and do. You know, he's got to cook. Yeah, see you, know, you can't cook if the air quality is not. Well, good. he'd be cooking barbecue. At least have a smoker. <laughs> go to bed. Yeah. Let's get to our contestant. We got Chris in Olympia. Chris, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Excellent. All right, Steve, get out of here. Goodbye. For those playing at home, Chris will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Chris, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Yep. Geneva, the European headquarters of the United Nations, is located in which country? Uh, Switzerland. Yes. What is the calm center part of a hurricane called? Eye of the storm. Yeah. Gray, blue, and fin are all types of what marine animal? Can you read that again? Gray, blue, and fin are all types of what marine animal? Whales. Yes. What year of the last decade did the first Apple Watch come out? 
2009? Uh, 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 I don't know. Nine? No. 17? Uh, no. 18, 19? No. What is the square root of 400? Uh, 10? No. Four? No. I uh, passed. Who played Peter LeFleur in the 2004 comedy Dodgeball? Uh, Vince Vaughn. Yes. How many teams are in the NFL? 32. Yes. What product did Amazon first start out selling? Books. Yes. Sandy Colfax was a professional at what sport? Uh, baseball. Yeah. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Correct. All right. Well, we'll see Ooh. how it happens. I think uh, may, Steve may have the edge in this. You but, think so? Yeah. You're not holding out hope that you'll get yourself a song on a Friday? No, I don't think so. Oh, wow. I think Steve I, should get most of these questions. Yeah, I think Steve will have to kind of luck out on it. Uh, one or two of them. All right. But that still might get him to win. Steve? Yes. Are you ready? Geneva, the European headquarters of the United Nations, is located in which country? France? No. Um, America? No. Canada? <laughs> no. What is the calm? What is the calm center part of a hurricane called? Oh, the uh, the eye. Yeah. I think about Tootsie Roll pops for a second. <laughs> wow. Gray, blue, and fin are all types of what marine animal? Fish. No. Whale. Yes. What year of the last decade did the first Apple Watch come out? What year of the last decade? Oh, I'm going to go 2016. No. 2018. No. 2017. No. What is the square root of 400? Pass. Okay. <laughs> hey, no. Oh. Who played Peter LaFleur in the 2004 <laughs> comedy Dodgeball? Ooh, Ben Stiller. No. Crap. Vince Vaughn? Yes. How many teams are in the NFL? 32. Yes. What product did Amazon first start out selling? Books. Yes. Sandy Colfax was a professional at what sport? Baseball. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. You lose seven to six. Damn it. Oh, wow. I am so shocked. Good job, Chris. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, shout out to my daughter, Kendall, and uh, girlfriend, Liz, by the way. Nice. Oh, shout out. Give it a shout. Kendall and Liz. Very, very nice. Yeah, well, appreciate you playing, buddy. Thanks very much, and thank you for the song. That's always a wonderful thing. Love that. <laughs> I really uh, overestimated Steve today. Yeah. The deciding factor was geography and watches. Math. And watches. Yeah. Well, he didn't get that one as well. Yeah. So that could have taken you over the edge or at least gotten you the uh, the tie there. Is the answer 2020? Uh, no. Is it a trick question? Okay. No, 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 no. So the last decade. Uh, of the last decade, did the first Apple Watch come out? It was 2015. So the 2010s are the last decade. Yeah. Even though, even though you know, Rev is. In the last decade. Yeah. So, so it, it was 2015. 2020. 2015 is the one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking in the last decade. You mean in the last ten years? Yeah, that's what I was going for with that. Oh, wait, they both—they actually would, both work. But yeah, they both work. It yeah. kind of works out that way. See, right. I think you should say the last ten years and not the last decade because well, a I can say what I want. It's my question. Well, this I, isn't uh, even the math question. That's yeah, the funny no. part, right? No, no, I'm saying <laughs> numbers. <laughs> I'm saying in the future, whenever you're talking, when you say something yeah, in the last decade, yeah, you're the talking future, about you can, the decade uh, before the one we're in. Well, then you can go ahead and write me the questions, and maybe I'll use. Well, it. I didn't say you were wrong. Well, then you're actually giving me suggestions on something that doesn't matter then. Well, I was just saying for people in general. Oh, yeah, just, keep just it saying. It does mean two different things to hey, say. Hey, how about the Mariners, guys? Yeah. Do you think they can make a, a run or what? Yeah. Uh, so you did not get the, where Geneva is located. It is located in Switzerland. Hey. I did say the European headquarters. Oh, I missed that part. Yeah. It makes sense. It would be Switzerland. <laughs> and then anybody know the square root of 400? Anyone want to do some math this early oh, in the morning? Four. Nope. No, it's not. Twelve. I thought four. I thought four, four squared. Four is, squared is four times four, which is sixteen. Oh, it's by itself. Oh, yes. Then so it is. I, I, no, right. Twenty-four. No, closer. Sixty-nine. Twenty. Oh, Twenty times Jesus. twenty. I thought you said hundred, so I was doing the math for hundred. <laughs> oh wow! I. You know what? That's. I. I feel so stupid. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And I just realized now that I think my argument is ridiculous because it means the same thing. Great. Yeah. So Bye. good job. I just did it in my head, actually. I don't think you knew that, but I did. Oh, no, I knew that. Uh, well, congratulations. Why did you say that? I was, was trying to thing. say it, you weirdo. God, Fridays, man. I'm glad this week is over. That's man, right. if they could just win three games in a row and the Astros <laughs> lose three games, these Mariners, man, we could be in the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't, even, don't even talk to me about that because uh, you know, we don't want the Mariners to get in the playoffs. Yes, I do. Why? They're not good. So they have a chance of winning the World Series if they're in the playoffs. 
Well, I mean, yeah, you're right. It's a shorter series, no doubt hey, about a it. A lot of people probably thought in the hockey once uh, Bishop was down, they're like, oh, Dallas has no chance of making it. They have a perennial backup goalie that's going to be playing for them. He's a lifer as a backup. And now here we are. Stanley Cup Finals, baby. They just have to start winning games. I mean, they did have a good winning streak for a little bit, but the Mariners now, they've got to go on another winning streak and beat some decent teams. Otherwise, it's just like, well, come on. Because, right, you know, the Astros are the second team that's getting in from the West, but the Astros stink too. That's fine. That's the problem. I don't care if we stink better. Yeah, as long as we're in the playoffs. Yeah, we don't have a good division, at least this year. I mean, really, uh, is it the A's? Are they there? are they on top of our division? Yes, I yeah. believe so. They're the only decent team, but then again, they're playing our division a lot as well as the NL West. Which actually, the NL West is a pretty good division. But here's the thing, man: you get a couple wins against the Padres, right? They got a three game series against the Padres, which yeah. they should be able to do. You then no, the Padres are good, dude. Yeah, but the Mariners have played well against the Padres. All right, I'll give you that. I'll, we'll see. They beat them eight to three. The last time that they played, that they beat them twice, eight to three. All right, and then lost ten to seven. We'll forget about that well, one. They won two out game. of three games against the Padres the last time they played. If they could win two out of three games against the Padres this time, their next series is against the Astros. Okay, boom, boom, playoffs. All right, yeah, definitely they have to beat the Astros, and then it's right. against the uh, Oakland A's. So they hopefully don't tank. Yeah, it that's that. the problem. There yeah. is that whatever they make up with the Astros, they could get in trouble with the A's. But all right, all right, you know what? I, I, I you brought me back on the train. Nice. I'll get on the I'll get on the Mariners train right now. I appreciate it. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Choo choo. Thanks, buddy. Here we go. Got a new survey uh, asking people, hey, is it too early for stores to start putting out Christmas stuff right now? And I have to tell you, any normal year, I would say yes. But when I saw it, and I even posted pictures because uh, mm-hmm. I, I was like the first week of September, and I'm at uh, I, I'm at the South Coast Plaza in California because they had a bad air quality. So I was walking the mall, and there was Macy's inside there, all their Christmas stuff out. Kind of put a smile on my face. Maybe th- maybe you know because I couldn't walk outside because of bad air quality. Then you got the COVID, so I got right. the mask on. I mean, it was just like God. This is such a bummer of a summer. Uh, but see, and- if I see Christmas decorations, all it's telling me is summer's done. It's too soon. Yeah. Well, look at the weather outside. This is usually beautiful for us in Seattle. Yeah, this is this the new isn't n- summer, man. This is the new normal now. Our September's are going to suck if we're going to have fire season like this. Well, of course. I mean, the, the the clouds and all that, or the smoke, not the clouds. But I mean, uh, yesterday was actually a nice day, minus the smoke part. Dude, you could you. What's the point of being able to have a nice day if you can't go out in it? Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, <laughs> I just don't. I'm not ready to just accept that we're now full full fledged going into winter. Yeah, I I, I want to enjoy Halloween still. I would like to enjoy my Thanksgiving. Okay. But I'm not going to get mad at somebody who wants some Christmas decorations up. If that's going to make you happy during this crappy time, by all means, do it. It just bums me out to know that we're that close to Christmas. Well, 75% (laughs) of people agree with you, Steve. They're like, it's too early. See? Yeah, but 20% agree with me. They're like, no, dude, it's the right time. It doesn't bother me as long as they don't skimp on the Halloween decorations. Like, Macy's doesn't have Halloween decorations. So put all your Christmas stuff out. That's fine. But if if we're going to Michael's and they have, like, all of their Christmas stuff instead of Halloween Halloween stuff, I'm going to be mad. I don't know why you stores... You should go in there and just knock stuff over. I will. A Be- lot of stores do the Halloween stuff. Why didn't Macy's? Because Macy's really just... They, they deck themselves out for Christmas. I'll tell you what. You go to Lowe's, you got your Halloween direct, de- directions, decorations. Yeah. Well, Lowe's they got the, is all the blow-up ones. Man. Lowe's, like Lowe's has got half the battle all year round. They're orange in their colors. They're orange and white. They're Halloween all the time, aren't oh, they? Lowe's is blue, bro. Oh, I'm thinking Home yeah. Depot. How dare you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just They figured. are two different stores, man. Well, I know, but I mean... I don't want to knock Lowe's. They're wonderful people, but the Home Depot is a pretty good joint. And it's always looking like Halloween there. Fine. I'm a Lowe's guy, though. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. You're all about Lowe's? They have all the inflatables at Lowe's. They have so many inflatables. Yeah. I'm thinking what about are you talking one. about now? Inflatable huh? Halloween decorations. Oh, like okay. Mickey and Minnie dressed as like I was ghosts. Say, Lo- Lovers has a lot of inflatables, too. I mean, I wasn't sh- who's yeah. got the most? Those typically, the parents won't let you go, go trick-or-treat at those homes. Oh, okay. Fine. Understandably so. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I want to get when I get in the new house. I'm getting inflatable. Yes, I'm all about the inflatables. Are you really going to do that at the new joint? Awesome. Yes. Oh, you got Christmas take pictures. inflatables. I don't know if we'll be ready for the Halloween inflatables, but I'd like to do that. Well, you start shopping now. I mean, you can set them up. You well, when is it officially your property that you can go start doing stuff? Next week, I think. Well, yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Fish, so, yeah. No, I, it's a couple weeks technically. Oh, oh, so you can't go and you can't even do stuff before then. Well, I mean, it'd be kind of funny if I just show up and I'm like, I know we haven't closed on the home technically, but can I put up this 
giant, giant ghoul it, it's a that, new in, home, that inflates. But it is new. Nobody's living there because sure. they, it's built for you. I think they would let you do stuff since you, if you've got nothing to do before you move in and you got some free time. Which I'm need, sure anybody who's packing has free time. Oh, I have all the time in the world, PJ. <laughs> it's, it's, I think I finally got to sit down at 8 o'clock last night. Danny will do it for you if you get permission. I will, actually. You need the giant sandworm from Beetlejuice oh, inflatable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at the one of a shark eating a person. Oh, that's even with a more. pumpkin oh, underneath. That right? is cool. Okay, Both. That's there's wow. also one that's a dragon that hooks up to a fog machine. Ooh, you got to supply your own fog machine, but, but I mean, ah, uh, yeah, it's a little much. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's a little much. much. I do like the little skeleton guy. That's pretty cool. <laughs> But yeah. then there's Mickey, and he looks like he's like a vampire. Yeah, oh. Danny will do this for you if you can get permission. I know he's you know. He What's will. he doing? What do you mean by doing he'll, it? He'll inflatable he'll up your place, so it'll be ready when you move it. in. He'll decorate it. Why? Well, yeah, if get permission, on the house. will you buy the decorations too? <laughs> no. Well, then I don't want it. <laughs> I found one for PJ. It's a little R two D two with a pumpkin that says "boo." That would be cool. Oh, I love how sixty nine dollars. Nice. Oh no, that's the one. They just really have put zero effort into that though, because it's just. An R two D two inflatable <laughs> that they put a pumpkin next to. Yeah. That's all you got to do. That's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. what's wrong with that? That's all. I'm not saying do. anything's wrong with it. Which is yeah, zero <laughs> effort done. Zero effort done, which is how I like it. Well, all right. So, Steve, uh, we, it's agreed. Danny, if you buy him the uh, decorations, he will go decorate Ooh, your new place. An inflatable minion. Ooh. Oh, 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 wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Huh. You're not. All that is is a minion holding a pumpkin. How's that <laughs> any worse than R two D two? See, you hate R two D two, but you love minions. That's your problem. You might be right. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. It's a stupid <laughs> exactly minion with a pumpkin, and there's R2 with a pumpkin, and Steve's like, F that, no effort at all for that R2 pumpkin, but the minion looks amazing. And I was about to say the same way, oh, it's Mr. Stay Puff from it's Ghostbusters, and it's Stay Puff, and he's holding a Halloween pumpkin basket. And by the way, I would like to argue that R2's pumpkin says boo. They actually did a little bit more with his pumpkin. Well, this one, they carved the face. That's actually effort. Yeah. Uh. Well, I mean, not really carved it. They just painted it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not much of an effort. Yeah. Oh, they got a BB-8. Yeah. Uh, the, oh. And it's got a trick-or-treat sash on it. Oh, oh, you need that and R2. I would argue that that's actually very low effort because it's hardly, I mean, he's, he's got uh, orange color in him, so I suppose. Low just effort's throw, the best effort. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Lots of inflatables. Danny's going to decorate Steve's house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Problem solved. Problem solved. Can't wait to move. <laughs> Well, we got a guy who tried to do what we have seen many people do in movies and on TV, and that is to jump his car over a bridge while it's opening up. Yeah, this dude actually tried that. Did he succeed? I'll tell you. It's 717 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. BECU is committed to helping you become financially fit. Meet Todd Peach, KISW's financial advisor. Auto insurance is probably one of your larger expenses, so periodically take some time to see if it can be reduced. Check for discounts for paying in full versus monthly installments. Consider a higher deductible, improve your credit score, and lastly, don't be afraid to shop around. To get more financial advice from Todd, visit KISW.com slash BECU. Switch to Farmers and you could save an average of $437 on your home insurance. Get a quote at Farmers.com. We are Farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Based on average nationwide annual savings survey dated July 2020 to 21. Underwritten by Farmers Trucker Fire Insurance. Exchanges are affiliate. Products not available in every state. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. We got a 26-year-old guy from Allen Park, Michigan, who tried to pull off a crazy stunt on Wednesday night. He was driving his Dodge towards a drawbridge and saw that the gates were down because the bridge was going up for a boat. So he tried to do what many of us have seen on TV or in movies, and he tried to jump the bridge. Jump the bridge? Yeah, he did. Dude, anytime I'm on the Fremont Bridge and it starts going up, I I think that. I don't have, I would never, never do, I don't have the huevos to do that, but I would, that's just crazy. (laughs) And he, and he busted through the security gate. So the gate was down. So he did a, just like in the movies, busted through the gate and then did try to jump his car over the gap. So this guy is just a genius. I wonder how big the gap was. Yeah. Uh, fortunately for him, the bridge operator saw what he was doing and stopped the bridge from opening even more. So the guy did actually make it. Now, was he looking out for the guy's best interest or was he kind of curious to see if this guy could pull it off? I would love that, to talk to the bridge operator. And, of course, in the movies, they don't show you this because what would really happen if a two, basically a two-ton vehicle 
landed after being in the air. You know, it, it always lands. They continue to keep driving. That's in the exactly what happens. They continue the chase. But a thing that you know that weighs, I mean, you know, two thousand pounds is uh, going to blow out four tires. It's going to blow out the windshield. That's what's really going to happen, and that's what oh, happened to him. Sh- yeah. So he was arrested for malicious destruction of property, of course. Well, his insurance cover that. That's what I want to know. Uh, and uh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Going to be a shocker, but he was high. <laughs> he was high at the time. Yeah, he was on whippets. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, he re- he whipped it real good. Damn, People are doing whippets still, huh? Yeah, well, someone's, you know what I mean? Someone's going old school. Nostalgia, Steve. COVID's making you think of the old school. Was it, or was he just enjoying some whipped cream and then he didn't realize it was all out? Oh, that could be what it is. Like yeah. He's high and he thinks he's in a deuce of hazard. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Uncle Jesse. Uh, yeah, Uncle Jesse. <laughs> It's the lukewarm topic of the day. So a guy tries to jump his car over a bridge while it's opening up, and he actually makes it. Based on this, when did you try to do something that you saw on TV or in a movie? 206-421-ROCK, text us at 77999. When did you try something that you saw on TV or in a movie? Your calls, your texts, after Tool on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. So there was a dude from Michigan who tried to jump his car over a bridge while it was opening up. It worked. He made it. Thanks to the fact that the uh, bridge operator just stopped the bridge from opening even further by the time he got there, because I don't think he would have made it. And also, he blew out all four tires, destroyed his windshield, so it doesn't work like on TV. If you take a 2,000-pound vehicle, launch it in the air, and have it land, your tires and a lot of other stuff are not going to make it. You're not going to drive away like, oh, hey. What about a smart car? Not 2,000 pounds. You think you can pull it off with that? That should work. But then again, if you're driving a smart car and do something like that, isn't that kind of an oxymoron? Well, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Although I would watch that video over and over and over again. Yeah. Someone in a smart car trying to hop a, uh, a bridge. Yeah, that would be funny. So how about you, man? I'm, I'm sure this person was inspired not only by the whippets that he was doing, but also maybe by Dukes of Hazard or some kind of action movie. When did you try to do something that you saw on TV or in a movie? 206 421 Rock. Text us at 77999. Justin in Burlington, you are on the Rock. BJ Shay. Who cares? Who cares? So, I'm part of the uh, old generation of uh, people who had flip cameras. Oh, yeah. So, um, me and my my buddies, we uh, got a shopping cart and we uh, jacked us down a hill. Oh, okay. There was a lot. There's a lot of folks that did that one. How'd that go for you? Uh, The first, like, 20 feet went pretty well. After that, oh. Sorry, someone almost cut me off there. Um, huh? Somebody just cut him off. While oh, he was oh, damn! That is okay. That was almost another jackass moment. Just ram him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't wow. do that. That's aggro. Okay. Um, but but yeah, no. Um, after, after that, we, we actually hit uh, we, we hit a little bump. Uh, my uh, my my one buddy James flew out the back, and then the other part of it just kind of toppled over. I got a couple of cracked ribs. My uh, oh. buddy got uh, got a, a twisted ankle, and another buddy came out scot free. Oh man, dude, you got the worst with cracked ribs because those they they take a long time and they hurt a lot. Oh yeah, getting out of bed in the morning was wonderful. Oh man, was it worth it? Uh, it was until we figured out that my buddy that was filming didn't know how to operate the camera oh. and didn't get any. Of- Oh, he got none of it. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that, that is hurts beating. my soul oh. to hear. Oh, that really, really does. Then it's not. Like, it's the big red button. How can you not figure that out, dude? And it, granted, this wasn't something we learned from television, but it brings me back to the time my buddy Munson, we were waiting in line to take a picture with the Stanley Cup at the T-Birds game, and he was drunk, and he says, I'm going to pick up the cup and hoist it over my head like I won the Stanley Cup. You know, they have their security there waiting for, like, making sure nobody does that. You can touch it. You can't pick it up. And one of our buddies, his only job was to record it because we wanted to have it on video. And Munson <laughs> sure as that grabs the cup, hoists it over his head in full celebration. And we're all like, you know, he gets kicked out. As, as he, and he was very respectful about that. He's like, I know you're going to kick me out. I, I get it. And we're all like, let's see the video. And he never hit record on the oh, video. Oh, gosh. come on. Nope. Just Why do people wow. not know how to do that stuff? And the rest of us were like, oh, we should. I was like, oh, maybe I should film it too. I'm like, no, I really want to just watch it. We got one guy filming it. 
And yeah. no, it yeah. was an amazing experience. It was a adrenaline rush, but yeah, but to not just like oh, to not be able to relive it, right? Oh, yeah, that sucks. How about this person says, when I first saw Star, Star Wars as a kid, I tried very hard to have the abilities to use the Force. I may or may not try from time to time as a grown-ass adult as well. Yeah. Well, there are ways to use the Force, but it's usually like vo- you know vocal manipulation where you know you just try to double-talk somebody. But yeah, oh, that, I was just going to say, yeah. well, like when you walk in front of a grocery store door and you just wave your hand and it opens up magically. <laughs> oh, that's oh, cool. Still to this day do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. straight up. But have you ever been like, I remember being a kid after seeing Star Wars and I would like look at like a spoon on the table and put my hand out and like think oh, really yeah. hard. And, and <laughs> of course nothing happened. I tried that after the Matrix when the, you know, that, uh, that kid oh. said there is no spoon. Yeah, bending the spoon. I wanted to do that. I thought there are spoon benders. So I feel like, you know, I'm sure, you know, it's just a magic trick really. But still, I tried it. It didn't work. One takes a reason to point how many people have tried doing the tongue on the flagpole because of, uh, Christmas story. Oh, no, you see what happens there. That's I, terrible. But people want to see if it really happens. Oh. I know people that did it. Right. And I'm, I'm like, why would you do that? You saw what happened. I like this one when I was a kid. My parents took me to North Dakota to visit some family. I was playing with some other kids. Decided to cover myself head to toe with mud. Like Arnold in The Predator. Mom was not happy. <laughs> LOL from Kevin and Winlock. Oh, that's awesome. That's amazing. That's pretty good. 206-421 Rock Texas at 77999. So I stole mine from Home Alone, which... <laughs> I didn't have a sled, but I really wanted to go down the stairs, and I had the giant box. Like, you know how Costco mm-hmm. gives you the boxes? Oh, yeah. I was 16, and I managed. We have one of those split-level homes, so it's not just one long set of stairs. It was just two sets. I go down the first one, slam into the wall, think it's funny. I'm about to go down the next one. My mom comes out yelling because I had just had surgery a week before. Oh. I got my appendix taken out. She's like, what are you doing? Oh, you are a one. <laughs> you didn't even. Uh, but it was fun. I was fine. Yeah, was but totally you know, fine. you did have surgery. Out. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're, you're still here. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Well, what are you freaking no, it's out had about? no Let effect on you. A couple of concussions, but you're no. fine. Oh, I love this one from Adam and Everett. He said, in elementary school, I tried to do the Karate Kid crane move with a bully. He easily dodged it and then pushed me over. <laughs> I know, it never works the way it's supposed to, those fight scenes. You know, you think you got them down and you don't. Well, especially that one. Yeah. And I, don't get me wrong, I, 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 I think all of us at some point after watching The Karate Kid are guilty of doing the whole crane thing. But man, I would not be surprised. You know, there's no chance it's going to work in an actual fight situation. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've I've been a kind of person where I've just adopted whatever they were selling. Like I, I've I, what I've done is is that if a product comes out that emulates something I saw in a movie, even though it's not completely like it, I will buy it. Like the movie, like I there was a, a TV show called Eureka, and the dude, the sheriff, had a talking house. Like the house t- did everything for him. He had conversations with it. So as soon as the Amazon Echo came out, Alexa, mm-hmm. I'm like I'm buying it. And people go, Are you sure? I go, No, you don't understand. I want the talking house. I want Eureka. I'm that guy. Where, right. You know, I uh, like well, I you see were things, geeking out when I was on, during the break. I was on my phone. I got the new iOS update. And now you have a translator app. Oh, yeah. I want there. that. That's a universal translator from Star Trek. Oh, wow, it's like the Babblefish. Right. I like so, that, too. For those in Spanish that are listening, this is what I had him. ¿Quieres fiesta con mis huevos? Um, what does that say, Vicky? Are you, sure, are you sure we can say that? Well, I mean, I'm talking about like corn nuts. Oh, is that what you're talking about, corn nuts? It was translated as in, would you like to party with my eggs? Yeah, but... but I, eggs mean something else. Yeah, And I was talking about, like, peanuts and corn nuts and... Oh, you want to party with my nuts is what you said. They come over to my you're house, I've got a bowl of nuts, you want to party with me. But she just assumed you were basically talking slang about your boys, and in Spanish, it's not nuts when you're talking about your boys. Yeah, the slang is, you know... Siri knows eggs. her owner, let's just put it that way. Yeah, she knows yeah. who she is. Yeah. Yeah. And in Japanese, it sounds like this. Siri. <laughs> Okay. That's pretty cool, huh? It's, well, again, it's right out of Star Trek. The whole iPhone is right out of Star Trek. It is a communicator, it's a tricorder, and now it's a universal translator. I mean, my world is like, I am so stoked right now. The funniest thing is that he was doing this all during break, and this is the tamest thing he asked. Oh, to yeah. When I, I walk in the room, and Steve is talking to his phone, saying, basically... Very bad thing, very bad thing, very bad thing. I, I want like to know Steve would do. how to say in Spanish, would you like to eat French fries out of a certain part of my body? Yes. What? And uh, you certain uh, uh, body and, part face. Yeah, you, uh, Richard, your face is involved in this conversation. Hey, Richard face, would you like to have French fries out of the backside? Oh, nice to see that you're working on a multilingual uh, yeah, aristocrat I mean, bit. Steve is really a 10-year-old boy. It's, I mean, he really is. Yeah, straight up. I mean, I come exactly in the room and I'm like, said. you know. <laughs> I legit told him that. Like, seriously. 
Did you tell him he's a 10 year old boy? I might have said 12, but oh, I gave him a little 12. more credit. Right, I'll give you 12, 12 years old. Years there. I yeah, dude, at 10, I wasn't asking these questions. It's like, I wonder what they're doing. Like, are they preparing for the next break? And I hear oh. Steve basically just saying, really, like, very, very foul language into his phone. I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. Oh, it's a new iOS update that lets Steve be even more 12 ish. Well, yeah, now if I go to any country, I can get my questions answered. Yes, you can find out if there's somebody named Richard who has a face that reminds you of somebody that would like to have french fries out of a part of your body. And then get swiftly kicked out of said country. Yes. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. And I can respond with fine. I don't want to be here anyway. In their language. Yeah. So they'll know. I could even try it right now. If okay. What's well, fine? I don't want to be here right now with the new uh, iPhone okay. translator. Fine. I don't want to be here anyway, comma, ass face. Oh, okay. Well, here we well, go. Well, I got to say it, you know. Yeah. Here okay. we go. In Spanish. De acuerdo. No quiero estar aquí. Cara de culo. Oh. Uh, Vicky, was that, did that work? Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Vicky, wow. Vicky, Vicky verifies. And oh, you know what she's doing in the language of love. Oh, French? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Oui, oui. D'accord. Je ne veux pas être là. Face au face. Oh. oh. Face au face. Face au face. Face au face is a donkey face, huh? Yeah. All right. I love that. That also was <laughs> way more romantic, too. It's right? Really, it did sound <laughs> a lot more romantic. Yeah. It now is, let's try German. The most. Please, oh, that's the language of love right there. I was about to ask. Gut. Ich will sowieso nicht hier sein. Arschgesicht. Yeah. Ooh. See, now she made that That's sound sexy, sexy, actually. I have to say. I, sounds I w- like a butt sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> I did. You know what? Sometimes you get, you get a female German accent. It's quite sexy to me. That's like, Russian. That's Russian? Yes. Oh, all right. That wasn't very sexy. No. no. <laughs> well, it's a great chat online about the oldest pieces of technology that people have in their house. Well, surely not the new iPhone translator. That's a very good piece. <laughs> Best app ever, man. We'll talk about old technology that people have. We'll do that at 747 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. If I call Travis, will I actually see him or someone who works for him? Absolutely. When you come in to see my to my office, uh, when you first call in, my staff will try to help you with, with any basic questions that you have. Uh, I can give you a call back, uh, but they'll schedule you, usually try to schedule you for a free consultation with me, the attorney, and I'll meet with you personally. We'll talk about your the basics of your case and I'll take you through a question and answer session that usually last, an interview that usually lasts about 30 minutes um, where we'll get the basics of your financial situation I can answer your questions and we can talk about whether bankruptcy makes sense your uh, your non-bankruptcy options uh, and how bankruptcy could affect you what the process is thanks Travis if you have more questions about bankruptcy you can reach out to Travis anytime at choose the right chapter.com that's choose the right chapter.com Thanks for listening. BECU is committed to helping you become financially fit. Meet Todd Peach, KISW's financial advisor. Have you considered renting a car to take that family trip versus using your own car? According to AAA, it costs 50 cents per mile to operate a car. If you are planning a long trip, renting may be the better option. If you do rent a car before you take your trip, check with your auto insurer and credit card issuer to see what coverage they provide. To get more financial advice from Todd, visit KISW.com slash BECU.